All right, what's going on, guys? G. Casey here with some Enter the Gungeon. So this game is similar to Isaac in a sense that it is a roguelike um, set to give you a run that's about 30 minutes to an hour long, depending on how well you do. Except it plays much, much differently. So I've gone ahead and reset the uh, game, reset the save pro progress once again, so that I can actually show you guys the game right from the beginning. So because of that, um, we are. Like, if you take a look around, there's not much we can do. Everything is blocked off to us. They won't let us through unless we do the tutorial. Tutorials are for chumps. No, we'll do the tutorial on this one, because here's the thing. I, like, I am better at Isaac than I am at this game. And the runs at the beginning are probably not going to be too long, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the tutorial here. What do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess, here to change the past, right? Well, you're not the first, but there's no salvation here. I was like you once, came to change the past, and now I have no future. <laughs> well, let's go into tutorial mode. Just so you guys can get a gist. It's also been a while since I played, so it'll give me a little bit of a, uh, you know, a better practice round here. So, we'll go through doors. Each room is randomly generated, except we're in the tutorial, so it's not... For it is I, Sir Manuel. Heed my words and I shall show you how to survive this accursed labyrinth. Continue through the door to begin your tutelage. Try flipping these tables. So we can flip tables over. We can kick barrels around. Excellent interacting. Proceed to the next room. This is the most important lesson. You can dodge roll by right clicking. You are invulnerable to gunfire during the first half of your dodge roll but vulnerable again when you hit the ground. This means you can dodge through bullets and other hazards. It requires price, precise timing. When you give the word, I'll open the barrier. All right, let's go ahead. I'm ready. Ready. I'm ready. Go. Boom. Boom. We are so good. Boom. The dodge roll feels really good in this game. Nice work. Dodge roll is the prayer of the Gungeoneer, and the Gungeon provides for its devotees. No one knows why this only works in the Gungeon, only that the Gungeon provides. You must master the dodge roll if you wish to ma master the Gungeon. Go to the next lesson for dodge roll, lesson number two. The dodge roll is a prayer, blah blah blah, we've already said that, okay. So we can jump over these, which is pretty good, pretty simple. Some of them are longer, but we can still do that. What do you have to say down here, dude? The dodge roll is the first and best way to avoid dying in a gunfight sometimes though the number of bullets can be overwhelming. For instance, there's no dodging through that, but there's a way to clear the path. These are called blanks. Using one will delete all enemy projectiles in a room and stop enemies from shooting for a short period. So they'll push nearby enemies away, pick them up. Use them by hitting Q, all right. So if we hit Q, then we can get through. Pretty simple. Excellent, blanks refill every floor, so use them when you need to. They can also be found throughout the gungeon, but I wouldn't rely on that. Onward. What do you have here? You've got the basic soldier. I suppose you've earned a reward. A gun befitting your stature, your stature and experience. Go on, open it. It's the pea shooter. Give me it. Oh. Baby's first gun. So we can aim, reload with R. One of the Gungeon's natural inhabitants, cruel, savage, and bloodthirsty. Now, kill him! Cold-blooded, truly you are ruthless. The next rooms will be real gunfights. Kill all the enemies in each room and the doors will open. All right. So we can flip the tables. The tables will block. Uh, enemy gunfire, so. And just shit goes flying everywhere. The environment and the aesthetic of this game is beautiful. Alright, we got some more dudes to shoot here. We can also shoot these things. And when you clear a room, everything that you could pick up will fly towards you, so you don't have to worry about running around picking everything up. here. You made it! You know how to dodge roll, shoot, and use blanks, but there's more to learn. You need to know how to use items that don't exist in gun form. The med kit, for example, it will replenish your health. Pick it up and hit the E button. 
Alright, got plenty of health right now, so don't use it yet. But when you think you need it, jam the space button to use it. Alright, head on through. See that thing on the other side? That's a teleporter. Whenever you find one, you can always return there as long as you aren't in combat. To use it, open the map by holding tab and click on that to warp to it. Got it? Or should I explain again? No, we got it. Good. So basically, we just click on the teleporter to get to the other side. Remember, you can warp to any teleporter on the map, not just the ones in the same room, but they won't work if you're in combat. If you press E while standing on the portal, you can use it to teleport back to where you were. I'll be waiting a few rooms north of here. You should explore. Try to find a better gun before you challenge the boss. Can't go that way. Let's go ahead and reload. Can't go that way either. Oh, took damage. Or we lost our armor. The enemies in this game are pretty adorable. I, I really don't like this pea shooter. Alright. Ah, shit. Alright, there we go. Cleared that. We're just gonna clear out all the rooms here. You can push the tables, too, to move with them. Alright, move on to the right side. Alright, we can come down this way. Got a chest here, we got some things. If you have two or more guns, hold control to slow time and pick the one you want. Use control to switch guns. Ah, AK-47. Accept no substitutes. So if we hold control, we can... I guess... Yeah, we can scroll through. Okay, cool. Alright, so it looks like we are ready to keep going up north. And this is the way to the boss room. Oh, what? Are you ready to put all that you've learned to the test? Yes. Then, face me in single combat. Let's begin. Easy. Cease fire, cease fire. You've bested me, I, the great Manuel. So long have I ruled these halls, only to be undone by the likes of you. The reign of Sir Manuel, master of the dungeon, ends unceremoniously. You've done it. You've beat the entire game. Leave me here to die again. Sob. Sorry, dude. Alright, so that's basically it. Now, we also have the choice of these other characters as well. There's the pilot... Um, the criminal or the convict, and then there's the hunter. My favorite by far is the marine, so we're going to be using him for the first little bit. And now I will just go through a normal run. So they should be able to let me through now. You're now ready to enter. There's some doors that are up there that are locked as well, but this is basically the start of the run. So not every episode, of course, is going to have the tutorial at the beginning. I just wanted to run you guys through it. But <clears throat> it's just like Isaac in a sense where it's randomly generated... And it's all about what items we find to dictate how well we do. It's much more skill based though. Fuck, we already lost our armor. And my skill is not very good. Oh my god, wow. Like, as you can tell. But the goal is to try to get good. Alright, clear the room. Things feel a little loud. I'm gonna go to the options and I'm gonna adjust the volume. I already turned it like pretty far down, but I guess we'll stick with this. 
I feel like I'm talking really loud over the sound, so hopefully it was still possible to at least hear me a little bit. Ah, shit. So yeah, I was saying that I'm like pretty terrible at this game, but the hope is that I can get better. And that's why I feel, oh my god. I feel like it is, uh, you know, one of those games that suits a series. Even though I am taking so much damage already. Well, there you have it. So, <laughs> a terrible first run. There's tons of improvement to be made. The pea shooter has joined the shootout. Well, that's lucky. Um, so that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.